Hi guys, uh, we're back on our high tech paraffin heater and we're going to look at well it might be servicing the um, the heater or more likely you've got a fault and this could be an E4 fault which is probably the most the most common and um, yeah we're going to look at how we get the the paraffin heater to this condition to this situation without having to remove wires and um, and everything like that you know we, it's all nicely nicely presented to us like this and there's a uh, there's a fairly simple way of doing it. it's just a touch fiddly and I'll show you how it's done okay so getting to this point slightly fiddly you know that's all slightly fiddly um, you've got to take off the top and um, on this model which is the um, it's the Squall BPE367 um, it's got three screws at the back but it has one self tapper here, just here. So you take the three out, you can't see it, that's down like that and it won't come, you know. So take the three out and then don't forget to lift that and then just sort of hold it just there like that and that will expose the self tapping screw. All right, that you can then put into one of your save pilchard tins or whatever, you know, like that. Um, the control panel on the top, you'll see when you, when you, here's the control panel, you'll see, in fact, there are clips here, four clips, okay? Now, with this, it comes, this comes out up like this, then you just twist it and drop it back down. So no need to um, worry about um, pulling out this delicate um, ribbon connector. Just simply, it comes out and then you, you drop it back through. So, okay, that's, that's it. You'll see how, how that goes. And that's to get the, uh, the, 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 the top off. <coughs> This is your your problem one. How to get how to get this out and leave this here standing. Well, the first thing that you have to do is you have to turn this round. Okay. First thing to do is to remove the fan. And this gives you a chance to then clean off the dust on it, and it's removed by four screws. That comes off, and it then allows you access to another four screws that you'll see. And these four screws, these hold the back of the box. Can we see? One, two, three, four. Okay. You can either support this or you can then put that back on. I mean, I left it off because you get more light in and you can see you can see better. But uh, you'd have to support it because there's um, there's a cable attached. Okay. I think that's and yeah and, and obviously clean all the dust off and everything. Um, now, let's bring it back round again. Okay. There is an additional screw here. One screw at the front. Okay, so it's four at the back and one screw at the front. And then there are these little nibs here that just 
stick into these holes. Mm -hmm. There they are. And that locks it in place. Right, okay, so the key is, now you, you know, you'll, 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 you'll do all that, you'll take all that off, and you'll think, oh my God, it's not coming. Be careful, you know, this is loose. You can see that it's loose. And we want to, to, to leave that unaffected. All right. You've done everything just with a Phillips screwdriver. Everything. One Phillips screwdriver. Most of the screws are exactly the same. So you've taken off four at the back and you've taken off this one screw here. Now, what you do is you insert the screw in between here and the base. Okay, you square, insert it in and twist. And this then prizes the box up and loose. Okay, the fiddly bit is that you cannot pull it out at this moment. Alright? You have to push it backwards. You have to push it backwards. Okay? So, here it is, over this unit here, over this base. You must actually manoeuvre it. Once it's up, you push it back, and then up, and then it can come out. Right. Because it's also down the back here. But there's no screw there, it's literally just clipped in place. So you lift and push it back and somehow, because of you've got this lip here for the fan, you have to avoid that. But as long as you know um, exactly this is how it works, you, you know, then you, you know what you're trying to achieve. You know it, com it comes off and you know that's how it comes off. And so you should be fine. It's just a little bit fiddly because this gets in the way and, you know, but you can pull that back and give yourself room for it to, to move backwards and then lift up. And then you sort it. And then you can clean all the, 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 the dust out from that as well. And that's then out of the way. And um, be careful. It's got a gasket on the bottom. Okay. Just be careful of that. Don't damage it. There is some residue here, as you can see there. It's fine. Just be careful. Yeah, and that um and that's how you um how it's all displayed and um, easy to get at. Uh, it's well within the capabilities of anybody you know that's prepared to have a go. Um yeah, keep all your um, there's the air filter by the way. That's the air filter back. That always should be, be clean. When you clean the, the fuel filter um, down here, which we, which we did in, in another video, um, that's just a case of taking it out and brushing it and you know, uh, easy. But that should be done because that's your air filter. And uh, yeah, then, then, then reassemble, um, um, put it back and, and hey presto, you know. I mean, this didn't have an error error fault on it. I've just taken it apart to show you exactly how it's done. All right, guys. Um, yeah, good luck with that. All right, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye.